And so, Laura, just talk to me about why you are here and what it means to you. Yes, uh, first of all, we're not a campaign group as such. We are just individuals. We're just ordinary people who believe that we need to ask the government to get a grip and stop new oil. We're not asking that we stop oil entirely. That's impossible. The system is built around fossil fuels. We're asking for no new oil, so no new consent and licenses for new oil, because oil and fossil fuels are destroying everything. They're destroying our environment. They're destroying our lives. They're destroying the climate. Do you think this is the right time to do this? These uh, are incredibly frustrating for motorists, these types of protests. How do you feel uh, if you were to talk to a frustrated motorist? And also today is the day when the energy price cap uh, goes up. Fuel bills are going up a huge amount today. Do you think this is the right time or do you think this is maybe the perfect time because of that? I would say it was it was a perfect time. We're all absolutely, well, beside ourselves with, with the war in Russia and everything that's going on. But what we're trying to do is move away from fossil fuels. So move away from war in Russia, move away from dependence, move away move away from fossil fuels. If we can move to renewables, then we think the energy prices will go down. They're safer, cheaper and easier to install. And I just want to talk to you about what it actually takes today. You've been here since about uh, 4.50 uh, a.m. You've got people that are chained, unfortunately, to the front of oil tankers and so forth. How are you going to the loo? How are you staying warm? How are the logistics operating for these sorts of protests? Well, we have to admit we're terribly cold. We have been out here vet since very early this morning. We've got a number of different age ranges. We've got two octogenarians here sitting next to one of the oil tankers. So there are lots of people. So we are, some of us will be wearing um, adult uh, incontinence pants. Some of us will be taking a modium. So it's uncomfortable. Um, we're not really eating or drinking on purpose. So uh, nobody wants to be here. Nobody gets up and says, I want to break the law. But we need the government to listen and just stop new oil. And if they're not listening to anything else, we think this is our last ditch attempt, the only way that they might listen. And how long are you going to be here? What are the plans for the rest of the day and the coming days possibly as well? Well, we'd like to go home right now and we'll go home straight away as soon as the government agrees to no new consents and no new licensing for new oil and gas. Uh, otherwise, we'll stay here as long as we can. We're, we're not at work, we're missing our jobs, our children. We should be at home, but we're here in a freezing car park. But we feel we have to because we have to act. And if our children look at us and say, what did you do, mummy, in the climate crisis? I have to say I did something. So if you feel you can say I did nothing, then that's fine. But we feel we have to do something.